Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dragon Quest character skills guide. And today, of course, we are doing Sylvando, the great Sylvando. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for the support on the previous videos, as always. I know it's taking a little bit of time for you to do this. I've been enjoying doing my Fire Emblem Let's Play, but of course, I'm going to be bringing out these guides still. I haven't played Dragon Quest in a little while, but we'll soon fix that. Don't you worry, I'm still going to be making these, so make sure you are subscribed. If you want to see the rest, I'll of course be doing Jade and Rab after this, um, and the other character. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So Sylvando, Sylvando joins you, um, not that, well, he's not one of the first characters you get, but he's not late in the game either. He joins in the Galopolis arc, or after the Galopolis arc, actually. Um, so this is not too far into Act 1. As you see, he'd be around level 15 when he joins. He is a very interesting character. And he's got a lot about him that I think is, is worth mentioning. But first of all, I'm just going to go through all the spells and everything as usual. So he starts off, he'll have Reheal, which I don't think is very useful. It's a regen, but it only heals for about 9 to 12 HP per turn. It's just not really worth casting in any situation in my experience. I think regen in this particular game isn't very good, unless it comes along with some of the bonuses. Uh, which it doesn't, so Reheal is largely crap. Accelerate is nice, but he also has Accelerate also. I mean, you can kind of choose between these two. They're both pretty good. Obviously, uh, as you can see, Accelerate raises one ally's agility by 40%. Um, Accelerate raises everyone's agility by 20%, but of course you can just cast Accelerate twice, and it does stack. Um, so you can have that effect uh, if you just cast it twice. Uh, in a lot of cases, Sylvander doesn't have much else to do, which I'll get into, so, I mean, yeah. Accelerate was pretty damn good. It's probably one of his best spells. Accelerate can be nice, too, um, on certain bosses, I guess, if you can make it hit. Cockadoodle do is actually very handy. Um, you'd be surprised how often allies get put to sleep. Any status coverage is just pretty helpful, so that's nice. And then Oomph, this is the big one. Raises an ally's attack by 25%. He is the first character you will have with Oomph at this point in the game. Um, so this is really, really nice. This is what makes Sylvando a very, very useful party member in Act 1. One of the reasons. Um, right, being able to raise someone else's attack, like Veronica, uh, with her twin dragon lash, was really, really good this early on. So he definitely has a lot of value for that. Accelerator, self-explanatory. He gets Woosh, although he gets it at level 20, and this is the stage 1 spell. Yeah, kind of crap. Not really useful. I guess it's okay for an AoE. If you're lacking AoE on Sylvando, but... Yeah. Tingle kills out of the Paralysis. Again, like I said, this is very handy. Just status coverage. Remit heal. Don't waste your time. Swoosh, again, just AoE coverage if you really need it. And then he doesn't get anything until level 39 when he eventually gets Oomphful. And this, again, is probably going to be the earliest you'll ever get Oomphful. Uh, I don't think Veronica gets it as early as uh, Salando does or anyone else for that matter. So yeah, Oomphful, really, really good, level 39. So you probably won't get this until the very end of Act 1, if depending on how high level you are, or Act 2. And Salvando is luckily around for most of the time in Act 2, because uh, th this is something I haven't really mentioned, but Act 2, the characters have kind of... Characters get split up, so characters become unavailable uh, through various points. But luckily, Salvando doesn't take too long to join back so that's nice and then re more heal again same thing this is okay actually in terms of the hp threshold so i guess this could be useful but it's it's one ally there are much better like uses of your turn <laughs> than one ally hp regen like for this little his spells are not a strong point but what you'll find with Sylvando is that he's a bit of a jack of all trades in terms of just offering utility in different areas i think that's what he does best so his spells definitely provide that. There's some very good stuff in here for utility. So make use of those. So now we're going to get into the main meat of Sylvando. Obviously, we're going to talk about his weapon choices. He can choose between swords, knives, and whips. And honestly, they yeah, they kind of screwed Sylvando over. Um, in this game, like, I mean, when I'm judging the characters, one of the biggest things is obviously damage potential. Now, I know Sylvando has plenty of utility, but, I mean, we have so many characters that can do so much damage um, that, you know, that utility is really going to be worth it. And in a lot of cases, it is. But Sylvando can't really hold his own damage-wise. Uh, we can't really hold a candle 
to the other to the other characters in a lot of aspects. I mean, he, he had some decent stuff. Let's just go through them here. Swords are arguably his worst. Now, of course, this is just looking at the abilities. If you give Sylvando a couple of Falcon Blades, uh, he's obviously going to do all right. Although his strength is pretty low, if I remember correctly, at least at first. Um, so, you know, you can boost his strength. Obviously, like I say, with all the other characters, with Strength Seeds, if you really want to. Um, but, I mean, Flame Slash is whatever. It's like the most basic sword skill. He does get Sword Stance, which is okay. Obviously, same thing as the Luminary. Dragon Slash, again, this is pretty useless most of the time. Metal Slash, again, I never really use. Just use, like, critical attacks. Or, you, you don't really fight a lot of Metal Slimes in this game, honestly, unless you're really looking for them. Uh, I always find that I fight, fight more Metal Slimes than other Dragon Quest games. In this game, not so much. Uh, and then Miracle Slash, I've explained in the hero video why I think this is crap. Uh, so, and you also get to it, like, it's uh, it's under this hidden panel in the sword tree, and it costs 16 skill points to get. I, I just never see the use of this. He gets his pep chance buff under swords as, as well. Um, and he gets a critical hit uh, bonus, which is okay. But yeah, his swords are just it's extremely extremely underwhelming i mean yeah the fact is that savannah was the worst sword user i would have to agree he has no unique abilities and on top of that Sylvando's skill trees with his weapons uh they don't get expanded once his skill tree gets expanded um which is another point i'm gonna have to make against Sylvando. we'll get to that very soon uh but yeah swords very underwhelming i just wouldn't bother uh, even if you give him Falcon Blades, he's not going to do as much damage as your other sword users. Um, so they're probably better off on them. I just wouldn't bother with swords at all. I think they're largely useless. Um, knives. Knives, he can be okay with. He gets kind of the same setup as Eric as he gets all the, uh, well, he gets both sets of, uh, status effects set up with Sleeper Hit and Persecutor, Cobra Strike Victimizer. I've spoke my mind in the area video that I don't think these skills are very good. This is up for debate. They can be situationally, you know, they can, can deal a lot of damage, but I think the setup is very unreliable against bosses, especially this, this, these can be good, but again, unreliable. You have to spend a turn setting it up to then get the result. And it's, you know, it's, there's a lot going on in boss fights and Savando is one of those characters, like I said, that offers so much utility. You're going to be wanting to do other things with Savando, like using Oomphal, like using Accelerate. Like, things like that, whereas a character like Eric can probably make better use of this, uh, these knife skills, because he doesn't have the same utility stuff that Sylvando does. But I think Eric is a much better use of, user of these skills, and I don't think they're that great to begin with. Uh, but I mean, they're there, they're still just as good as they are in Eric, so... Not really gonna go too in-depth on those. They get Sudden Death, two times light damage with a 20% chance of insta-killing the target. I guess this is okay, I mean, it has a two two times damage multiplier so that's not bad at all really uh you're gonna get this quite late though like later on in his skill tree it's a lot of points and it's a lot of points to put into a weapon into a weapon tree when there's so many other points that savannah wants elsewhere that you're not going to get this for a long time and by the time you do it it's going to be not anything special so yeah again it's 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 nothing fantastic nothing to write home about gets critical chance again and he gets nasty and knife just like eric um yeah i mean it's the the, the uh the fact mentions that he can it can use a shield with a knife uh, yeah i don't think shields are on sylvando or anything to kind of write home about either um there's only one character in the game that i recommend using shields on and we haven't got to them yet and then finally, whips. Um, yeah, whips on Sylvano are nowhere near as good as they are on Veronica. Another thing I should mention, of course, is uh, he can use knives. So we can also use falcon knife earrings, which are the uh, falcon sword equivalent uh, in the knives category. Uh, this is usually what I go with for the Sylvano. I just give him falcon knife earrings or falcon blades. You can do either. Um, just raise the strength because his damage is going to suck otherwise. And that's, I honestly struggle to get like any meaningful damage out of him in comparison to the characters. Like I said, he can still do good damage. Um, just, just not anything spectacular like we've seen with characters like Eric and Veronica. So speaking of Veronica, yeah, his whips are nowhere near as good. He gets, well, he does get all the good, you know, utility stuff like Hypno Whip, Lashings of Love and Tremel Lash. These are all great whip skills. 
hit the hay, puts him to sleep. Star Strike. Uh, it's kind of the same thing. Doesn't do any extra damage, though. As you can see, it's just one times your base. Um, but it can apply blindness, I guess, if you care about that. Again, pretty average stuff. Um, I don't really tend to make that much use of them. Worm Whip. This is very deceiving in game because you're like, oh, Worm Whip. You know? Ooh. <laughs> Sounds like it's good, right? I think uh, Veronica has this as well, and I mentioned the same thing. Yeah, three hits of 0 0.6 times your damage, and it removes any buffs they have. You get this pretty late because it's a lot of skill points. It's just a very, very, very underwhelming skill. Yeah, it, it's not great. It's not great at all. I think I already mentioned this in the Veronica video. And then Lash Batter. Uh, uh, one is at 150. 1 1.5 times damage to a group of enemies. Uh, you can beguile them. I mean, I guess 1.5 damage to a group is better than nothing. Um, but, you know, whips are good because they hit a group. So there's that going for him. But yeah, I mean, Sylvando really has to pick a choice of three pretty underwhelming skill trees in terms of his weapons. So I usually just go with with either knives or swords. I don't really tend to physically attack with Sylvando all that often just because he's very underwhelming in that department. But that doesn't mean he's entirely useless. No, no, no. We're only just getting to the good stuff. His personal trees are what save him. Because if he didn't have some of the great stuff he had here, he would be the by far the worst character in the game. Um, so let's get straight into that. So liveness, liveness. So you will have a liveness and showmanship once you get Sylvando. And some of the stuff here, hot lick, uh, deals fire damage. I never use this. It scales off deafness, which is a pretty weird stat to scale off. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's a very early on ability. Nothing really memorable about it. Sobering Slap. Here we go. This is one of my favorites, actually. Because um, it kills a single ally of sleep, confusion, paralysis, and beguilement. So it's like all in one. So you don't need to worry too much, actually, about his spells. Although, these are nice if you don't have Sobering Slap. Uh, I think some of these are AoE, actually. Like, Kokodoodle. Yeah, this is an AoE curing sleep. So the, the spells are still very useful. Something to keep in mind. But Sobering Slap, if you need it. Is very 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 nice actually uh, just having the range of status curing is really useful uh tap dance so doubles his evasion for two turns which is kind of low if this was like three or four turns i'd say this was a lot better uh but this is decent because sylvando is a contender for being able to have the highest evasion in the game he has some unique accessories and equipment that really boosts his evasion pretty damn high um so he can be like a little bit of a dodge tank i guess and this can certainly help with that if you want to spend the turn to set it up. Uh, Pied Piper can beguile an enemy. Never really use this, but if you like putting status effects on enemies, sorry, uh, then go for it. Pretty low success rate. Uh, I don't know how the charm scaling plays into that. I guess it helps him against higher level enemies, maybe. I'm not really sure. Never really looked into it. I don't think it's that good. Um, most enemies that are probably going to be susceptible to this, you're going to kill pretty quickly anyway. So it's not really worth it. Have a ball. This one's okay. Uh, deals six hits of 0 0.5 times your damage. So it's three times damage total to random enemies. And they can apply Confuse. So honestly, this is why I think that Sylvano's weapon type actually doesn't matter that much. Because he has a lot of interesting, unique skills that do damage just based off his base attack. So... Like, and this has a higher multiplier than any of his weapon skills. So, honestly, this is the best option we've seen so far. Uh, I will, yeah, it's pretty damn good, actually. It is against random enemies, though, So, but against a single target, you're just getting three times damage. Um, so, it's really nice, actually. Uh, I don't use it as much as I should, because, again, I don't really tend to use Sylvando to attack much. But, this is a pretty good option. And then he gets a bunch of really nice passives, especially the agility. Um, another thing to mention is that Charm uh, is actually a good stat for Sylvando. Um, not only do you have the good chance of like making enemies like fall in love with you, uh, which can be useful, but also there are some abilities we'll see, like there's a lot of abilities we're starting to see that scale with Charm. So Charm is actually a good stat for him. All right, Showmanship. Here we go. Showmanship. Now... I'm going to show you all these skills, and I actually have the game open right here just to show you guys something. 
Something that I've recommended before to many people. Kiss Me Deadly. Uh, chance of inflicting poison, tiny bit of damage. Again, just a light hot lick. You might use it very early on after that. Just forget it. That's some more. Deals this much damage to a single enemy. Can inflict confusion. This is okay. Uh, pretty decently high ceiling. So this will scale pretty well as you go through still uh, through the game. So I think this is all right. Fuddle Dance. I actually like this. Um, funnily enough, it says 50% success rate and unaffected by any stat, which is interesting. Um, I like this more than Pie Piper because Pie Piper is only on a single enemy. Uh, Fuddle Dance is all enemies. So if you've got a big group, because you can get pretty large groups of enemies. Uh, if you've got a big group of enemies, uh, even with a 50% success rate, it's, like that's still pretty nice if you can if you can confuse all of them take at least you know half of them out of action it's pretty good all right here we go hustle dance hustle dance is by far one of the best moves in the game uh for healing it's one of the best support moves in the game if you watched my serena video this is why i said that serena is not the best healer in the game until much later on even then by by the time you get into act two and three you can farm yggdrasil dues so that makes everyone get Omni Heal. Um, but in Act 1, this is by far the best healing you have. Because Serena does not learn multi-heal until, I think, into the level 30s or something like that. Um, this is going to be the first instance of AoE healing you get. And honestly, you're going to need it. Like, especially, I think, when I was playing recently, the, uh, the Tentacular boss. Man, if I didn't have Hustle Dance... I'd be in big trouble. Big, big trouble. Uh, so this is honestly why I think Sylvando is so amazing in Act 1. And then after that, he's just kind of average. Uh, because in Act 1, he has so much standing out for him. He has Hustle Dance, which makes him the best healer. You will have your first case of oomphs, Oomph. So he can buff your attack and heal you. He can accelerate. He is by far the best uh, support party member you have in Act 1. Uh, completely outclasses Serena in every way, I think, in that act. Now, obviously, there's quite a few skill points you have to spend to get here. But I'm going to show you... This is why I have the game open. I'm going to show you a little trick here. So, you'll start with Sylvando around level 20 or so. You might have a few points dotted out that the game already dots out with whips and knives and whatnot. So, we have the Liveness tree here, which we've already gone over. Uh, hot Lick, Sobering Slap, Tap Dance, all that good stuff. Now... Here's Hustle Dance, right next to Fuddle Dance. So what you can actually do, because this right here is a showmanship tree, but this doesn't go off the center where you start. So you kind of have to go through either Whips or Liveness to get to it, right? So what you can do is you can you can unlock Hot Lick, unlock Sobering Slap, unlock Tap Dance. So that's what, only 22 skill points? You'll have that. Then you unlock Fuddle Dance once you have another 12, which I think you should already have by the time he joins you. Once you unlock Photo Dance, what you can do is go to the church, remove all these, pay the little bit of money at a church, and you'll still keep Photo Dance because it's a separate tree. It will not undo Photo Dance. And then you can take the points that you spent on these and unlock Hustle Dance. That's the trick to getting Hustle Dance very early on in Act 1, so you can have it straight away. Uh, it's just something neat that I like to tell people about. Um, because otherwise they might overlook Hustle Dance and kind of forget about it when they actually need it most. So, uh, yeah. It's amazing. And it even stays relevant uh, for quite a while. Obviously, it does fall off by the time you get Ixchel Dews and all that old stuff. You know, other characters get multi-heal. But if you don't want to farm Ixchel Dews, then I still think it's, like, perfectly usable throughout the whole game. It's basically a multi-heal um and Sylvando is one of the best utility support uh utility support party members for the most of the game anyway so you can just have him as your healer as well um whoops i guess i just disconnected my controller but uh yeah that's that's hustle dance really good won't keep going on about it now you know how good it is try it out uh pink pirouette uh this is pretty good uh why do i keep saying 150 1.5 times wind damage to all targets can inflict confuse this is based on his attack stat, not his charm. But this is, again, a good AoE. Much better choice than his Woosh spells. His magic isn't very high, I don't think. So I, I do like Pink Pirouette quite a bit, actually. I do use it fairly often. 
and then gold rush you can spend a thousand gold and it deals 300 flat damage uh, i don't use this too much because i don't like spending money and i there's other ways to do much more damage but i will say if you find an enemy with really high defense that you're struggling to take down uh, i'm pretty sure this ignores defense so you can just you know spend a tiny bit of gold and deal a decent amount of damage so it can be useful for that and then he gets some charm and this is the tree that he gets dual wielding in too so i mean this is a very very good tree uh definitely the one to prioritize uh for sure and finally chivalry oh boy this is one of my biggest problems with Sylvando is that he gets his extended tree so late he doesn't get it until act three which i find pretty annoying because when all the characters are rejoining you in act two they are starting to unlock their skill trees their hidden panels all the good stuff you can make a beeline for all the best abilities in the game uh once everyone rejoins your party but Sylvano doesn't have that he's stuck with the same skill trees that you had with him in act one so while eric is getting double down and all this crazy shit you know uh dually deadly the luminary is getting all these op skills you know all this stuff uh, Sylvando doesn't really get anything, which which really sucks. And he doesn't get chivalry until Act 3, and it's in a side quest. And, well, you'd hope it'd be good. And it certainly is good, but it doesn't really help Sylvando. Uh, Whipping Boy, Sylvando will take damage for the chosen ally, which is, this makes him sort of like a tank. However, this is far, far inferior to another tank you will have on the team by now who we haven't spoken about yet uh i mean it's still good don't get me wrong you can choose an ally to take damage for it's kind of like cover uh from final fantasy games you know like cecil has cover right it's basically that you just have a much better option at the same time you unlock the skill tree with the other character it's kind of disappointing uh grandstand Raises his attack and defense by 25%. It's the same as casting oomph and buff. By Act 3, you have so many better options. It can be good, but there's just better stuff to do. You have party-wide instances of this. You know, you can cast a kabuff spell and get defense on everyone. It's... I don't know. Not very good. Ladies first, though. This is by far his best ability. And it's not even beneficial to him. So Vando gives up his turn to another ally if they're female. No effective targeted on a male. So Sylvando gives up his turn to a Betty party member. Who are the best party members in the game? Well, I'd say Veronica. Maybe Jade. But by far Veronica. So, uh, so it's almost like the devs realized that Sylvando wasn't as good as some of the female characters. And they were like, well shit, maybe he's one of his skills. He can just give his turn over. So yeah, Sylvando is, is just, he's great he doesn't make himself great he's the support and he becomes so much of a support by that by act three he's giving up his turns to other people which i think is kind of hilarious so when i say sylvando is the worst party member it's it's hard to explain that statement i don't want anyone to misunderstand i think sylvando is fantastic i think he is the worst party member but that's not saying much because i think every party member is very valuable and usable and i use everyone however i certainly use sylvando the least because i only tend to bring him into boss fights uh when i need utility because his damage is just not as good as the other characters um but i mean shit he can in act three he can give up his turns so that i can get a second twin dragon lash with veronica i'd say that's pretty damn good uh it just doesn't it doesn't look very uh great on sylvando uh finger of justice deals some extra damage but not some extra damage deals 250 600 damage to a single enemy Scales of a strength. I'd say this is a pretty good single target option. Uh, you get it very late though, but it can be good. I don't know if it would out damage uh, uh, Falcon knives or Falcon swords by this point in the game. Probably might if you haven't raised the strength. Uh, but you're gonna have you're gonna have better damage if you do raise the strength. But that's completely up to you. And then he gets a few passives, some res, whipping ploy, and whipping joy. I'm gonna show these because it doesn't really show on the fact. Um, Whipping Joy, it reduces the damage taken when he uses Whipping Boy. Where is it? Here we go, yeah. So, it 
you know, you're taking the damage from someone else and it reduces it. That's all right. And then whipping ploy, uh, it lets him occasionally counter attack. So that's okay too. Again, I think it, this is okay if you want Silvano in the party and, you know, he can tank it a little bit. But, I mean, he's not the he's not the main tank. Like, let's just be real. Unfortunately, he is not. But, uh, yeah. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's Silvando. So, I'm going to just briefly go over what I think you should do. Uh, in terms of his weapon, do whatever you want. He can make use of all three because he's just very average with all of them. Um, if you want to hit a group with whips, go with whips. Uh, he can He functions essentially the same with swords and knives in terms of raw attack power. Uh, although I'd argue knives are probably better just for this utility here with all the status stuff, if you guys like that. Uh, then go right ahead, for sure. His best tree is by far showmanship. Just for hustle dance, he gets dual wielding. Uh, some of these skills are, you know, he gets some decent damaging skills. Pink pirouette, good AoE. Fuddle dance is nice utility. Uh, some decent stuff in life, and it's mostly just uh, status uh, stat buffs. And then... You won't be getting chivalry until Act 3. Um, but obviously, Ladies First is a very useful skill uh, for making your other characters better. That's why, like, Sylvando enables the female party members. So he's amazing for that, but he is it isn't a, a value to himself, if that makes sense. I hope it does. So yeah, what I recommend doing, you guys, once you get Sylvando, like I said, grab these skills, grab Fussle, Fuddle Dance, grab hustle dance he will be your best healer you know oomph your characters accelerate he is a great support you know he can be good with damage if you want him to like i said but he's definitely a great utility character so yeah if you haven't tried him out properly do enjoy have fun and yeah i'll see you guys next time for the jade video that's gonna be a lot of fun if you want to see that make sure you subscribe and i will see you next time Bye bye